My name is Roberto Esquivel Cabrera. I'm 54 years old. And I'm famous because I have the, the biggest penis of the world. In September 2015, a video appeared online of a Mexican man claiming to have the biggest penis in the world. There were suspicions that it was fake and rumours he'd been offered an undisclosed sum to appear in porn in America. But in all of the videos, it was mysteriously wrapped in bandages. There were so many unanswered questions that I decided to travel to Mexico to track Roberto down and see if all was as it appeared. An internet search for the world's biggest penis will lead you to Jonah Falcon. He has appeared in several documentaries and is renowned for having a penis that is 9.5 inches flaccid and 13.5 inches when erect. When the video of Roberto emerged, he was claiming to have substantially more. When I was nine, my little penis is growing, you know. It started more, more growing and growing. When I was by 16, it was by 8 inches. When I was 20, that was by 12 inches. Well, when I was by 25, it was by 12 inches. I moved to USA and, and started growing too, you know, till now, and it's by 20 inches now. Welcome to my house. What would you say to people who think that it's not real? No, I, sometimes when the people ask me if it's not real, I, I ask them if they want to see me, if they want to see it. Yeah. Can you show us your penis? That's all I can show you. Yeah. Do you know why your penis is so long? No, I don't know how. Why? why. I don't know why my, my penis is too long. Now, why do you have the bandages? To be comfortable, you know. Because my mother me and my pants. That is why I, I put What would happen if you didn't have the bandages? Don't, don't get comfortable. What, yeah, what would be the problem for you? Because as as the way I feel comfortable like that. You know. So Roberto has a penis that is almost 20 inches long and he claims that it grew naturally. But he was reluctant to remove the bandages. He claims that it's a disability which prevents him from working, and part of his claim for disability benefit involved him having a scan to prove that his penis was in fact real. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Jesus Pablo Gil Muro. I'm a radiologist. When uh, he came here to, to do a CT scan, my first impression was that it was a unique and unusual case. Uh, we usually don't see patients with this condition. And had you ever seen a penis that looked anything like this before in your career? Uh, no, I have never seen a patient uh, like Robert. So when you see it wrapped in bandages, it looks very heavy. Is this excess weight in skin? Well, actually, he didn't want to take off all the bandages, so we couldn't see the, the, the skin alive. We just saw the, the bandages during the, the CT scan. The scan was possible through the bandages, but the results raised as many questions as they answered. Well, what the CT scan showed was that there is a, a very large uh, foreskin. It goes until just above the, the knee, but the penis itself, it's just about 16 to 18 inch, uh, centimeters from the pubis, so it's, it doesn't go all the way through the foreskin. But the rest of the tissue found there, it's uh, foreskin and blood vessels and some inflammation of the skin. So Roberto's flaccid penis was bigger than average at six and a half to seven inches, but with hugely extended foreskin. Could this have happened naturally, as Roberto had claimed? He told about this to his psychiatrist, that he began with this uh, enlargement uh, since he was a teenager, wrapping some bands around his penis with some weights and trying to, to stretch it, that he was uh, obsessed with, with the penis uh, length. So 
Um, do you know why he was doing this? No, I don't know why he was doing this. With the doctor's revelations about the length of Roberto's foreskin and the fact that he had admitted to doing it to himself to a psychiatrist, I had to confront Roberto about both of these things. So, you say that the, the penis grew naturally? Yeah, naturally, yeah. What the doctor said was that um, you have been making this... The thing bigger, and that's not yeah. true. He said and that... Nothing, nothing made the, the, uh, uh, the penis the bigger. So what they also said that it's not the glands of the penis, it's the skin around the penis, which has been stretched. Yeah, yeah, the skin, yeah. It's not the penis. It's, it's, it, like the penis is over here, the head of the penis. And, and I got extra meat to grow up by itself. So you think the doctors were not telling us the truth? No, I didn't know about myself. So did he do it to himself? And if so, why? Psychiatrist Jesus David Salazar Gonzalez has met with Roberto and performed an encephalogram on him, a scan which looks at the electrical activity of the brain. He was particularly interested in an alteration in Roberto's right temporal lobe. Esta alteración les da a las personas como ideas eh, exóticas, ideas no comunes, en donde tienden a hablar de o de religión, de mucha religión, o bien que son muy perseverantes, muy tercos eh, y, y pueden tener ideas eh, raras, no comunes, como aquellas mujeres que se ponen pechos más grandes, ¿sí? como o glúteos más grandes, entonces él se modificó su cuerpo desde niño, como las tribus del África ya sea de nariz, hoja o boca, que se ponen platos, entonces se hacen sus partes físicas más, más largas. So there was a possibility Roberto was trying to modify his body due to an abnormality in his brain. Given that he denied doing this, I wondered how he felt about his penis. Are you happy with your penis? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my penis, you know, because I know nobody has the like, like, like size I have, and I have in the world, you know. And the Guinness, I, I would like to be in the Guinness World Record, but they, they, don't, they, don't, they don't recognize this, you know. They, they don't accept it, you know. But his size has caused him problems. I cannot uh, penetrate, you know. I cannot penetrate nobody. Why? It was just too thick. Is it possible to get an erection? Yeah, they, it's, it's always like that. But this isn't erect, no? No. So, when you get an erection, is it big? No, it is the same thing. It's when, when, when I got an erect, it's the same, the same size. But despite his inability to have sex, Roberto has refused any offers of help. So, we give ourselves consejos. Uh, médicos, en donde señor Roberto, lo mejor para usted es que pues le den forma normal a su pene para que no le duela, para que tenga relaciones sexuales, para que pueda procrear, pero él no lo acepta, él prefiere tener su pene con más grande que el resto de la gente. Que la cultura latina o la cultura mexicana uh, se dice que el que tiene el pene más grande es más macho. Es algo que lo distingue de los demás y él se siente especial. Do you feel uh, sad that you don't have a normal sex life? No, I, I don't. I don't feel no no sad because I know maybe in USA they have a lot of women say so they have the right size for me. Maybe that is why I wanna I go back one day over there and and live the rest of my life over there in USA. But now you're 54. Yeah, but I don't feel old anyway. I'm 50 years old, but I don't feel old. I wish to go back to USA and, and, and do the rest of my life over there because I really like it over there. I would like to be a porn star. Uh, I think because I make a lot of money over there. And the people, it's not, it's not like you over here, it's more, more, more liberal. And they, they don't care that much about, about, about what I got. They don't, don't push that much attention. 
With all this talk of returning to America, I wondered why he wasn't living there. Investigating his past, I found that Roberto had several convictions, including a number of indecency charges. The most serious conviction was a felony assault. Roberto had exposed himself to two underage girls. What happened? What was the incident? Ah, that was in Seattle. The incident was in Seattle, Washington, two, two females. They, they all look old and older than me. They asked me uh, to go with them, it was by 9.30 p.m. And they say, okay, and, I, 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 and we ride the bus. And we went behind the, uh, the mall. And when we was there, they said, put your pen down. So I put my pen down, and when, and when they see my stuff, my big penis, they start running and screaming, and I run too, and I catch the bus. And the police stopped the bus, bus and, 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 and took me to jail. And what happened? And that, and that, and, and that was happened in 1991, and that was a, a sex motivation. That is why I plead guilty today. They posted in, in the Superior Court as a felony. How old were the girls? And that was, they was like uh, 16 or 17 years old, but they were, they were, they look old. And, and, and that was taller than me, taller than me. Whatever actually happened, Roberto does have a criminal record. And in the short time that I spent with him, it's clear that he's quite a troubled individual. It was hard to know when he was telling the truth, and I doubt we'll ever get to know the full story behind how his penis got to be how it is. 